Hello again everyone and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video we're going to check out TLDR Pages which is a really awesome service that gives you quick access to documentation. And as administrators we know that documentation is extremely important. We need to be able to find information that we need quickly and TLDR Pages is one way that you can quickly gain access to useful information about a number of Linux commands. Like man pages, TLDR pages exist to provide useful documentation for common command line tools with a focus on providing information that's concise and practical. The information is much easier to read and it makes it simple to find exactly what you're looking for. For a quick example of this, we can see the man page for rsync on the left and its TLDR page on the right. And as I scroll through both pages, you'll see just how much cleaner the TLDR page looks. And in today's video, you're going to see TLDR in action. I'm going to show you how to install the TLDR command, and I'm also going to give you an alternative for accessing TLDR pages for those of you that prefer not to install a package. So I'm excited to dive into TLDR pages and show you all about it. So let's dive in right now. First, let's take a look at how you can access TLDR pages. The first method to consider is to install the TLDR package itself. If it's available in your distribution's repositories, then all you should have to do is install the package using your distro's package manager. Not every distribution is going to have this package available, but if yours does, then installing the TLDR package is the way to go. In my case, I'm running Fedora, and it is available in Fedora's repositories, so what I'm going to do is run sudo dnf install and then TLDR, just like that. I'll press enter. And then I'll type Y to confirm. I'll press enter. And there we go. To verify that we have it installed, we can run command V and then TLDR, just like that. As you can see, mine is located in user bin TLDR. Anyway, once the package is installed, you could then view a TLDR page by simply typing TLDR followed by a command that you're curious about. For example, what I'll do right now is view the TLDR page for the grep command. So I'll type TLDR, and then grep just like that. And check this out. What you see right here is a TLDR page. As you can see, it's a lot simpler than a man page, and right here we see some useful examples of the grep command. For another example, let's check out the TLDR page for the rsync command. And right here we see some useful examples for the rsync command. How cool is that? Anyway, when it comes to installing and using the TLDR command, that's all there is to it. All we had to do was install the package, and then we were able to access TLDR pages. But earlier I mentioned that there's two methods you could use to access TLDR pages, so what else can you do? Well, you can also access TLDR pages right from its repository page. And this is great for those of you that prefer not to install the package, as well as for those of you that might be using a distro that doesn't have the TLDR package available. Using any web browser, all you have to do is visit tldr.sh, and there you can view documentation pages. So randomly, I'll choose the cat command. Not solely because there's literally a cat sitting next to me, but anyway, I'll press enter and watch what happens. And right here, we see the tldr page for the cat command. So regardless of whether or not your distribution has the tldr package available, you'll still be able to access tldr pages as you're seeing right here. All you have to do is just visit tldr.sh and you're good to go. And also, as an aside, you should probably add a bookmark to your browser to get back to this page. It'll definitely come in handy. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is switch back to the terminal because there's one more thing that I want to show you in regard to the tldr command. And one thing you should definitely be aware of up front is that you'll need internet access the first time you use a tldr command because it fetches its pages directly from GitHub and builds a local cache. After that, it works completely offline, at least for the commands that you've already accessed. It'll store those pages in a local cache and pull from that cache instead of hitting the internet again every time. We'll get back to the video in just a moment, but I wanted to let you know that I absolutely hate ads. They interrupt virtually everything that we do, and it's frustrating. Yes, I know this is an ad, but this is an ad to help you get rid of ads. Literally. If you'd like to send ads to slash dev slash null and help learn Linux TV grow, then consider becoming a channel member. You could do that by clicking the join button below, and ad-free content is just one of the perks. 
In addition to that, you'll also get early access to select videos, which means you can see the latest Linux learning content before anyone else. And best of all, your support really matters. It has a huge impact on this channel and helps keep Learn Linux TV in business. And, as I'm sure you know, learning Linux can be quite difficult. There's distributions, kernels, desktop environments, penguins, all kinds of things to keep track of. If you want to help Learn Linux TV on its mission to demystify the world of Linux and continue to create simple and easy to follow guides to help you make sense of things, then definitely become a member. So hit that join button. I would really appreciate it. Now, let's get back to the video. However, over time, TLDR pages will likely get updated by the community, so it's a good idea to refresh your local cache occasionally. So let's see how you can go about doing that. What we'll do is type TLDR, and then we'll use the option dash dash update. So I'll press enter, and let's see what happens. As you can see, it updated my cache, and there's over 6,000 entries, so it's definitely a pretty big repository. Anyway, the reason I wanted to highlight the initial internet requirement is because some servers, especially when it comes to enterprise production environments, are going to be air gap, which means they're not going to allow outbound access to a site like GitHub. In those cases, the TLDR command won't be very useful to you unless you've already built a cache. And that's probably the only real downside of TLDR, because man pages are built right into your distro and are not going to require any downloads or updates to use, but TLDR does. That said, even if you can't use TLDR on a particular server, you can always pull up the live demo page from your phone or laptop, so that way you're never completely stuck. But however you decide to access TLDR pages, it's a pretty awesome service overall. Whenever you're working with terminal commands, having quick access to the documentation that you need whenever you need it will definitely enhance your productivity. Reason being, TLDR pages are simplified and give you the most common options and examples of any given command. And considering how many hours I've spent scrolling through man pages that border on endless, having something quick and simple at my fingertips is definitely welcome. Now there's not really a whole lot more to cover here because TLDR pages is simple. It does one job and it does it well. You'll either use the TLDR command if you have it installed, or you can always access the live demo server in a browser. Either way, you'll look up a command that you're curious about, and that's about it. And there's our video. In this video, we checked out TLDR Pages, which is an awesome documentation service that gets straight to the point. I think it's a great service overall, and there's nothing better than being able to access the documentation that we need when we need it most. Also, make sure that you click the like button if this video helped you out. I would really appreciate that. And let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. In the meantime, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one.